Give the ball to Kawhi. Yes, well, that's it. Come on, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Hey, man, make this quick. I'm watching the Raptor game right now. Dude, HTC and Pundi X launched the first ever blockchain phones. Blockchain phones? Yes, so now we can actually own our own personal data and digital identity. Well, which one is better? Well, I'm about to do my YouTube review, so you're gonna have to tune in to find out. Shoot! Well, you're gonna have to watch my YouTube review to find out! Okay, let's go right now. I, uh, I got my money working for me. Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? Welcome to the Crypto Lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. Guys, on this channel, I educate people on blockchain technology and the implications it has on not only changing lives, but also changing the world. I also do ICO reviews, live stream interviews with CEOs of blockchain startups, and I also cover passive income opportunities within the cryptocurrency space. So if you're new here, definitely do subscribe. Also, at any point of the video, check out the description box below and click on the Telegram link to join my community. I always love hearing from everybody and that's the fastest way to get a hold of me. That being said, let's get on with the review. Now, this is massive here, guys, because we're actually seeing blockchain technology integrate into the physical world. And in my opinion, I always said, look, if we want to see mass adoption, we better have blockchain on mobile devices. This is even better taking it a step further here now by actually having a blockchain phone device you know what i mean okay not just applications on a phone to take you you know to, to, to blockchain networks right so this is very innovative guys um look htc and pundi x are very similar but different at the same time and we will get into further detail we will visit the websites right and um just to see what they say because there isn't a whole um ton of information on this right i can only get the bits and pieces from their website but once we get closer to the launch date i'm sure they would reveal more information i guess it's for competitors and they want to keep things hush hush up until they get closer to the date um but anyways guys one one common denominator what they both have is they want to safeguard our our data whether that be our our commercial data or whether that be our personal data it's well documented that Facebook does sell our data to commercial companies out there advertisement companies out there so this is what they're trying to protect and that's a very intimate and private thing right I don't want my data being sold to like these companies without my consent although we do click on the consent button you know I agree button once you um you know register register to a Facebook account but um, having a true decentralized phone is a complete game changer and a step in the right direction not only for um, us actually owning all of our private keys, but also for mass adoption. So I'm all for it. So let's first visit, visit HTC's website and read about their Exodus phone, which is their first blockchain phone. Very exciting stuff. And then we will go to Pundi X's website and see what they got to offer. And I will tell you guys which one I think is better and why. Okay guys, so here we are at htcexodus.com. This is the official website for the uh, new flagship by HTC, which is the blockchain phone, guys. So look, as I said, there isn't too much information out there um, on the website especially. There's like bits and pieces. But what I would do is I would actually buy the phone, right? If I make the list, I'll buy the phone, have it here, and I'll also get the um, the Pundi X's phone. Um, but you know, the timing is a little bit different here, so that's going to be very difficult to do. But in an ideal world, I would... I would like to have them both physically in front of me and do a real unboxing review, but I can only work with what I got in front of me, guys, and what's out there, the information that's out there. So let's just go with that. There's still enough information for us to make a reasonable review, okay? Um, so let's get on with it. So pretty much, guys, one thing, first thing, right off the bat, HTC will be allowing you to buy this phone in Bitcoin or Ethereum, only cryptocurrency. You cannot pay for this phone in cash, okay? So they are really trying to target the right audience here, okay, which are crypto currency investors okay and it's about 0.15 bitcoin which is about 960 bucks for this device i mean you know in the physical world that that's expensive but come on man we're making bitcoin over here you know we could afford that shit okay so secure enclave 
right? Trusted UI, secure Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ether, and more. Um, their wallet is called Zion, okay? And pretty much a secure enclave is essentially a part of the network, the internal network that isn't accessible to the entire network. So if you're using something like Android, which Google developed, you know, they have access to all of that information inside that phone. But this way now, you kind of like safeguard all that private keys or that private information from the rest of the network, which is immensely powerful for us and, um, you know, very much so uh, protective, right? So that's what we need. As I said, our data is very private and intimate information and we need to keep it that way. So now look, th they go on with the full specs over here, but we don't really care about Quad HD and 3500 MAH. This is not a, you know, my channel is not an electronics kind of like review channel, right? So we only care about the blockchain side of things, okay? So as I said, look, even here, they don't really show us that much, but we will go to an article on Bitcoin.com, I believe it was. Is it that? Yeah, Bitcoin.com, and we will go through that article, okay? So they go on to say, owning your own keys. We have, sorry, why have someone hold your keys when you have the secure enclave, which I just explained to you guys. Security, architected, we take your crypto assets seriously, just like, you know, it's in bits of pieces here. So let's actually go on to the article at hand, guys, from Bitcoin.com, okay? So it goes on to say this. Um, initially announced in May, the Exodus 1 phone was unveiled in Berlin, Germany on October 22nd. The handset will retail for a 0.15 BTC or 4.78 ETH in early access deals, which is equivalent to 960 bucks. First shipments are expected in December, the company said. Exodus 1 is a foundational element of the crypto internet. Phil Shen HTC's decentralized chief officer says in a statement on the company's website for digital assets and decentralized applications to reach their potential we believe mobile will need to be the main point of distribution and that's pretty much what I said in the introduction for us to see um, you know mass adoption or this um, you know Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies blockchain tech have this widespread effect across the world it would happily have to hit mobile devices but I was thinking more software but and to, 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 to have us see this mobile device as a physical hardware device blockchain enabled into mobile um, industry pretty damn revolutionary right there guys and innovative so built into the excess one is a cryptocurrency wallet called zion which was developed by htc to serve as a hardware virtual currency wallet chen said the wallet runs from a secure enclave on the phone's chip separate from the android operating system to safeguard digital coins he underscored the importance of keeping this area of the phone separated from Android because Google's operating system was fundamentally insecure with a centralized system exposing users funds to theft by hackers oh, sorry by attackers or hackers right which is very true you know these phones that we use they're not safe at all I hear all kinds of horror stories of you know even Apple getting hacked and you know all these different Android devices getting hacked and people's personal information is being compromised so this is something that we all need you know let's put blockchain aside without even blockchain we're just talking about privacy in general right so um yeah we went over the enclave let's get to the real meat and potatoes here so htc's new phone will run decentralized applications also known as dApps. it also features a social key recovery function that helps users regain access to their funds if they lose their private key via a select um number of trusted contacts so i guess it's kind of like you know if you own a ledger like myself over here right if you own this here, um, what happens is, you know, you have like a 20 word par paraphrase or 20 words if you lose your actual device. You know, I guess what the phone is, they're using it in a way where, you know, you will be using your contacts to retrieve your um, your your digital assets if you ever lose the actual device. Okay, and that's a little bit different there. But guys, this is where it ends right here for HTC in comparison to Pundi X. Guys, read this part of the article very, very clearly. Okay, right here, guys. Okay. So, earlier this month, Indonesia-based startup Pundiex unveiled um, its blockchain-powered handset called Xphone, which, unlike HTC and Surin Labs devices, can operate on its own blockchain-based transmission protocol independently of mobile carriers guys so we're gonna just stop right now with HTC and go on to Pundi X and you guys already know which one I'm signing with more now we're gonna go because for number one guys first of all we do not need to have a carrier like say AT&T or Sprint or Bell 
or whatever, right? T-Mobile. We don't need none of that because Pondex actually, we can actually um, send text, photos, media, even phone calls through their blockchain. Now that is just blows the mind. Like, boom. Okay. Now we're really starting to get to the exciting stuff. So let's move over to Pundi X. This is their website, guys. If you do not know what Pundi X is, man, you've been sleeping under a rock or living in a cave or something. I don't know. Okay. Because Pundi X is one of the rare gems in cryptocurrencies that are pretty much bridging the gap from the blockchain digital world to the physical world. Okay. Like what they say somewhere in the website is they're trying to make blockchain a everyday part of people's lives okay guys and they got some pretty darn cool not to mention they got their own blockchain they got physical um products okay not only software physical products like these pos's point of sale so if you were say like you were a entrepreneur you own a brick and mortar store you can accept payments in cryptocurrencies and that's what we want to see happen here right we don't want to see people be making you know the in an ideal world we would do not want to see um, you know, people cashing out Bitcoin or Ethereum for fiat. We want to see people purchasing merchandise in cryptocurrencies. And that's exactly what Pundi X is doing. And to take it to another level, they're introducing their X phone, which we're going to get to in a um, short second over here, guys. But you really need to take some time, visit Pundi X's website and scour them. I'm going to actually buy a lot of their coins um, pretty soon, probably today after this video, just because, um, you know, something that's introducing blockchain to the physical world i'm all for right because that's again mass adoption right so where are we let us actually go to this article which is the medium article by pundi x guys okay this is going to go into some really great details about the phone okay look this one really takes the cake here guys okay at pundi x we believe in harnessing blockchain technology and find ways to integrate it into people's everyday life and make it better and now they say introducing their x phone so unlike traditional phones which require a centralized mobile carrier x phone runs independently without the need for that man i'm going to buy like five of these phones seriously okay you do not need to have an independent uh, mobile carrier that is <sighs> crazy so and it runs on another pundi x invention on which holds even more potential guys do you understand the independence once again what is cryptocurrency it's decentralization what is decentralization getting rid of the middlemen getting rid of unnecessary intermediates okay and that's exactly what pundi x is doing here um coming into the mobile um industry where we're taking away the major carriers okay number one number two we're safeguarding our personal information and data and we can store our cryptocurrencies on it on the phone at the same time really really cool stuff here man now these are we're talking about world changing projects right here remember what i said at the beginning of my video it's all about um you know educating people on how blockchain could change lives but more importantly change the world okay and that's what pundix is doing here so let's go on to read this article guys um, so we developed our own chain, which we believe will answer many of the challenges facing many blockchain platforms today by increasing its scalability, sorry, by increasing its scale ability to publish dApps and achieve true decentralization. It will also revolutionize the way we transmit data of, of all kinds, giving rise to a truly decentralized internet. Okay, guys. So let us actually go down here. Okay, to the functionality of how this phone would work without a major network carrier. Okay, guys. Um, so it goes on to say this. Once registered, if someone wants to access my public data or content, they can just enter FXTP. Okay. XX x dot p i t t dot this is very similar to what we do for the traditional https protocol okay guys so that's up here obviously https whatever you want to put in to go to another website whether you are sharing photos data files or websites they can be accessed through this path guys so if i wanted to call someone so check it out right here and if my friends would like to contact me they can call text or email my x phone by entering call dot pit or comma message dot pit or mail dot pit okay to email okay email here text here and call there guys all through their blockchain without 
any major network carrier. Groundbreaking, revolutionary stuff, guys. This is staggering, okay? This is staggering stuff here, man. The transmission of data runs on complex exchange of public and private key data and encryption, but it can guarantee communication without interception and gives users direct access to the data shared by others. Any info that is sent or transferred over the function X blockchain will also be recorded on the chain. So everything is going to be recorded on the blockchain, man. Man, this is really, really cool stuff, man. I can't stop saying that. This is just really, really darn cool, okay? Um, and as they go on to say, um, and that is how a decentralized system of communication works. Okay, guys. So, look. Um, big up to you, Mr. CT and co-founder of PondyX, Pit Huang. I appreciate you, and I'm sure my fellow crypto lifestylers appreciate you guys as well. So, guys, I'm going to end it right there. Look, I know this is not the best breakdown or review, but, I mean, I can only go by with what I have, what information is out there. Once we get closer to the dates, I can promise you this much. I will try my best to get my hands on a Pondy X phone, and I will be more than happy to do the unboxing for you. I don't really want to waste money on the HTC, right? Just because, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. It's the step in the right direction. Um, HTC, one thing I could say that's really good about them is it's a recognized name. So to bring new people into the cryptocurrency markets who are familiar and recognize HTC, right? That's a good thing because those people want so much recognized Pundi X, right? But of course, us, we're crypto people. We know who Pundi X is. And um, definitely Pundi X steals this one because of that one major feature. And that one major feature feature is you do not need to have any major network carrier to support the Pundi X phone. That is true decentralization. So we're going to support the um, true blockchain startup company here in Pundi X, um, the true decentralized company and the true decentralized phone guys. I hope this video sheds some more light on these two phones and I will do a follow up video once more information rolls out guys closer to launch dates. So um, you know what? There ain't really much left to say guys other than until the next video, you're on your own. Wherever I go, it just goes with me. Crypto life is the life I lead.